go back to my initial position that instead of doing Igala agenda, I decided to do Kogi Unity agenda. And in that case, that is the only time you'll be able to know what are the problems that the people, I'm from Kogi East, the people from Kogi Central and Kogi West, what are their challenges? Once you're addressing their challenges, everybody drops this idea of tribalism. You know? Tribalism, how does it benefit anybody? Honda and Kogi East is the same Honda in Kogi West and Kogi Central. All the people are yelling for is good government that will replace good governance. So gentlemen, tribalism will be abhorred by my government because it's absurd. And to that extent, we will do what, the, what is needful to the extent that everybody will be seen that the government is all inclusive and participatory. That has gotten high level of promotion. The divisivity, the level of divide as we have today is heightened by the present government in the state. We are living together. Do not forget that there was a time that those of us that came from Benue were living with our colleagues from Kwara State. Or, and at the end of the day, Kogi State, Kogi State was created. So we have been used to living together. Why we are having what we have now is because our people have been denied the dividends of democracy. So as a result of which, once there is a leadership, people tend to say that this leader from this extraction is not doing very well. That is the major problem. But on my part, you know where I'm coming from the military. There is no tribe that is not in the military. So we don't know anything about tribalism within the military. 